near Otumwa, Iowa. Uh, we have our own Tony Law back. And uh, Tony, uh, what have you been experiencing uh, so far today? Well, Mark, fortunately for us so far, it's been fairly quiet, but that's not to say that we're not dealing with storms around us. We're going to take you to radar. We're going to zoom in right away here because we want to show you what we're looking at coming at us here. You guys have been talking about it for the last half hour or so, these storms that are developing in south-central Iowa, south of Des Moines. We are stationed in Ottumwa, which is about an hour and a half southeast of Des Moines, but we're watching multiple storms right now, especially the one just to the south of the Missouri-Iowa border. This one going to be moving up into the uh, Ottumwa area. Likely in the next hour to hour and a half, these storms are moving very, very quickly. 50 to 65 miles per hour. Our target storm, which is coming up our way, has been clocked at 65 miles per hour. So far, rotation has been tough to get organized, but we have seen the wind fields starting to increase. You can probably hear a little bit of that wind on my mic, and we're starting to see the winds also backing out of the southeast. For most of the after early afternoon, late morning hours, the winds were generally out of the south and southwest, but as that low up to the north continues to deepen, it's going to continue to back the winds. It's going to increase the wind field in the area that we're currently sitting in, and that's when we're really expecting a ramp up in that tornadic potential. Tony Lawback is uh, on the ground, and uh, he's into the area near Ottumwa, Iowa. Tony, what are you seeing there? Well, Jeff, we are uh, watching a, a pretty massive supercell that has crossed the border from Missouri, heading this way into uh, the parts of uh, southern Iowa. And this is taking a direct line at Ottumwa, uh, just to the southwest of here. We have had a report of baseball-sized hail. So folks in Ottumwa, at the very least, you're going to want to prepare for some big hail with this storm. You're seeing this on my stream. We'll take you to radar and show you. This storm has also been tornadic. We haven't had any tornado reports out of this, but there is a strong visual presentation in the radar indicating that this storm does have some mid to low level rotation could possibly start thinking about producing tornadoes here very very shortly we've been kind of in an area that has taken a little bit to kind of charge but we are seeing numerous supercells not just the one we're we're looking at here near Atumwa so we're here in Atumwa what we're probably going to want to do is get south and east on 34 and then there's just a whole host of ups ups all the way back to Fairfield, and it's only about 20 miles okay. between here and Fairfield, so this is going to blaze up probably to me, like it's just, south. It's just south, yeah. They'll get hailed on pretty good here, so we'll back it back agency. toward agency, yep, yeah, and then yeah, I think we just stay on 34, and then we'll cut, uh, we'll cut north, we got like a <coughs> pretty much gridded road, so. I think we got to go north. I think it hit. Sweet spot. 
debris. See it on the ground? No, I don't. Right behind that tree. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting out. Careful, right. careful. Guys, we got a tornado on the ground near Atumwa, north of Atumwa. Tornado developing as we speak. He's busy kind of working on a couple different things there. Um, obviously eyeing up that storm, which does look a very dangerous uh, just from the darkness of those clouds in the middle of the day, but also a uh, likely tornado worn too uh, there in Atoma where we've been following that storm uh, for a while here on the AccuWeather Network. Guys, somebody read me. Tornado on the ground. It's about to pop onto the stream. There you can see it right in front of your screen. This is what we've been talking about all day long, um, that threat for tornadic activity. And this is what we're concerned about here in Iowa. That is a very active storm that is producing a tornado. You can see it there touching the ground, spinning through. Uh, it does produce a lot of danger for anyone that's in its path. So Tony there trained to stay away from the storm, but also uh, get a good look at it. That's what he does for his job as a living. He is a professional to do that. So Tony and Mike there on the ground following that storm. But there you get it, it's right there on the AccuWeather Network. Tornado on the ground in Iowa. And that is still on the move. So that is the storm that we're looking at here. It's got a couple different warnings on it, but uh, you can see here, we're basically following this cell as it works its way off towards the northeast and is going to continue to push its way off to the northeast. It's been a pretty active cell there with severe thunderstorm warnings at times and now a tornado warning. And actually, if we look, this is now a confirmed tornado warning, probably from uh, Tony and other people like Tony seeing it there on the ground. So they know that is a risk and they're warning people in advance. Guys, we got a huge tornado on the ground. Huge tornado. It's all right. It's right in front of us, dude. It's crossing the road right now. Large tornado. Holy. I haven't heard a thing. Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Stop, stop. Get debris in the air. Yeah, we got debris in the air. Just watch these trees. Yes. This is massive. Okay, I see just to the right. Okay, yes, we're good. It's crossed. We're good. Take this. Oh my god, dude. Guys, come straight to me. Do not waste any time.
live look from Tony Lawback's cameras. He ch is chasing a confirmed tornado on the ground near Ottumwa, Iowa. Tony, can you hear us? And uh, what are you observing right now? Well, Jeff, this is a very large tornado. This is northeast of Ottumwa, Iowa, an extremely large tornado. This is on the ground. You are seeing this live, folks. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my, my phone with you. I can't tell you what highway I'm on here. Give me just a second. But, yeah, you are watching a very large tornado. This is on south of Hendrick on Agency. Just crossed off to our north. We probably got it by just maybe half a mile. Okay, you guys still there? You still here? Okay. And uh, Tony Lawback has been tracking that. Uh, and again, before the cell service got compromised, he's rolling on this. So uh, at some point uh, soon here on the AccuWeather Network, whenever he's able to feed the video back to us, we'll be able to get the uncompromised version of that and show you with more clarity. But uh, it was a pretty significant sight to, uh, to see as it first touched down before the uh, cell service uh, degraded there. It's Tony Lawback has been in the area now north of uh, Ottumwa, Iowa. So, Tony, uh, you just caught a really destructive tornado on v in view, and now you've reached the damage path. So what are you seeing? Well, we are about uh, two miles to the east of the town of Martinsburg. This is on Iowa Highway 149. We're looking at a uh, looks like a pretty heavily damaged farmstead here. This is a sparsely populated area right now, so we are currently not seeing a ton of damage. Unfortunately, what this tornado hit did do some significant damage here. We're probably talking uh, some farmsteads, a lot of trees that have been snapped. We've got power lines down. We know that we are also seeing uh, a lot of uh, emergency crews kind of moving around the area right now. A lot of these roads are blocked and slowed down. I cannot really tell. Um, we may still have a view. The tornado may still be ongoing to our northeast. Unfortunately, this thing is moving at about 55 to 60. And as we cross these damage paths on these roads, uh, we're getting slowed down significantly. So I cannot visually confirm the tornado is still ongoing, but it has certainly got that look to it, at least on the back side of here. So again, if you're probably up near the Talleyrand area, Kyoto, Harper, this is heading your way. This is going to pass uh, south of the town of Sigourney um, and then work its way up to Wellman. So a lot of small towns in the path of this storm. We know this is a damaging tornado. You're looking at some of that damage to one of the farmsteads here right now. So we are continuing to track this storm the best that we can. We've got another line of storms moving in. Fortunately, that looks more like a damaging wind threat, Jeff, than it does a tornadic threat. But we know we've got some other isolated cells that have developed kind of to our south and 
east. So likely not done with the tornado uh, issues here across southeast Iowa yet, uh, but certainly a big, big damaging tornado rolled through here uh, just about the last 10, 15 minutes. Tony, uh, I see some agricultural buildings obviously destroyed. Is there a house in there somewhere? Have you seen any people out and about? We have not seen any people out and about, Jeff. This uh, this looks like a farmstead. I see a tractor. I see a couple of silos down. Um, hard to tell if there's a house. I don't think there's a house here. Um, but certainly, again, though, there are multiple properties probably along this tornado path. Um, so we're we're going to try to work our way around the best we can. Right now, we're dealing with a lot of power lines in the road, so that's a big issue that's keeping us from really moving around at this point. All right. Well, we appreciate your reporting and uh, your storm tracking, Tony, from the ground. Be safe as you're out and about. A lot of hazards uh, from the atmosphere and now in the wake of these storms at the ground level as well. Meteorologist Tony Laubach has been chasing the severe weather as well. He joins us now from Woodhall, Illinois. Tony, good evening. Good evening, Adam. It has been a busy day up here in Iowa and Illinois as well. We are currently in Woodall right now on I-74. We are working our way back to the Iowa City area. I apologize for the shadows here. We got a big gust of wind that came through on the backside of the storm, so we kind of had to shelter everything as we didn't have the tripod anchored down here. But let's take you back earlier here because the big story has been the large tornado that has worked its way across southeast Iowa. This was a massive tornado that touched down to the north of Ottumwa, Iowa, and this thing rapidly moved to the north and east. Likely that same supercell brought tornadoes along its path. Iowa City up toward the Davenport area. We've had confirmed tornadoes pretty much the entire life cycle of the supercell. We were there when this tornado first touched down. We'll have that video at some point here later this evening to show when that tornado kind of started to turn up. And it came quick, Jeff. We were talking that we just had kind of a raggedy rotating wall cloud. And then within about three minutes, that was the view that we had as that tornado was crossing the road less than a mile off to our north. Right now, again, we are working our way up north on I-74, heading back toward the Davenport area. We do know that reports of a couple of semis blown off the highway as this line of storms was pushing to the east. The severe weather threat likely done for us here in the most of western Illinois and eastern Iowa as that line continues to work its way on off to the east. That is the good news. Unfortunately, though, we are starting to get in some of those damage reports, not only from the tornado that we witnessed near Ottumwa and then up toward Iowa City, but also toward Sherman, Illinois. We have had significant damage reported in that area that just outside of Springfield Illinois so widespread dis uh, destruction with uh, some of these tornadoes of course we're still getting the information up here in Illinois and Iowa but it's going to be a busy long night and weekend for folks here Adam meteorologist Tony Laubach has been chasing the severe weather as well for us he joins us live from just outside of Davenport in the Quad Cities Tony things quieting down for us uh, here but uh, farther east not the case yeah, that's right, Adam. Further east, it is definitely the case, but good news for the folks in Davenport and points to the west. Outside of the winds on the backside of this system, the severe weather threat coming to an end. That line has pushed off rapidly to the north and east. We have tornado warnings just to the southwest of Milwaukee. We've got those tornado warnings out near Springfield. And those are starting to work their way over toward the Indiana state line as well. So still a busy night for folks in the Midwest. Our chase here finished. It finished a couple hours ago. We're going to take you back here because we've been talking about how quickly the tornado that we saw outside of Atum formed. We're watching this storm. We just had funnel cloud and some dust on the ground. And over the course of about three minutes, you won't see the whole video here. We'll have this on AccuWeather.com. It's definitely going to be worth a watch. Just how quickly this tornado materialized from just a basically a little debris swirl under some rotating clouds to this probably half mile wide monster tornado, damaging tornado. We did see a couple of farms that were knocked uh, around pretty good. So we did have some damage with that. Fortunately, though, where we witnessed it a fairly rural area now our chase, as I mentioned here, is done. So we have wrapped up things here, but we are working our way up I-74 when that line of storms that came through, we were on the very south end of it, did not really see much further to the north, though, on 74, different story. We saw three semi-trucks blown off the highway on I-74. Uh, we don't know the conditions of the drivers, but uh, police uh, emergency crews on scene of all of those wrecks. So certainly a bad travel night for folks as that line came through. But like we said, Adam, things finally quieting down here in Davenport and the rest of Iowa. So a uh, good news for us there.